The space bar does slap. Does this match my shirt? Eh, kind of not really. Hi guys, how you doing, dude? Uh, Edward, I'm doing good though. Um, today is just gonna be like a, not a chill day, but we're gonna slowly put together our XOX. But yeah, uh, it's gonna be an interesting stream today. Your room is so bright. Do you like it? It's nice, right? It's a little bit nicer. Um, still waiting on the sound blanket to kind of help dampen everything. Cause I think there's still a little bit of reverb, which I don't mind again, but I still want to dampen it a little bit. So we're gonna be taking a look at some keycaps today. We're probably gonna use one. So we got the 009 from Omnitype. Well, 9009. And then we also have the Moto Light, which I don't know what we're gonna use today. I definitely want to use one of these. So these are Omnitype's new keycap sets, the Dice Up PBTs. So we're gonna take a look at these today too, later on. Might even throw on a desk pad. Um, which might even do right now, actually. This package came on Thursday, but it didn't give me a notification. And the only reason I even checked was because Marcia actually, like me and her were discussing something and then she reminded me and I'm like, oh, I didn't even check if this was like delivered or not. And it was delivered on Thursday. Ooh. Oh, this is a nice color. Omnitype branding over here on the backside. Ooh, I like this flat color desk pads. I'm here for it. We don't really have enough of these, to be honest. Key mat, thank you. Key mat is also a very, very, I'd say like neat little design concept there. Just a small little desk pad. Okay, this is nice. This is neat. The color suits your vibe. I think so too, right? The only thing with new desk pads, my gripe with new desk pads, is you gotta let them like flatten out completely. Roses are red, violets are blue, <laughs> and how could you be so freaking cute, Alex Zotkek? Dude, thank you so much, Box Milk. I appreciate you, dude. Ooh. Okay. First, Thought Supply, I have to admit, I love your logo. Um, I love like your branding here. This like Thought Supply thing here. I thought this was really cute. I also really liked this. This whole thing here, this carabiner here. I thought this was cute too. I just have to point that out. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for the follows. Thank you guys. 33. Oh my God. Reagan, thank you so much for the tier three, my guy. Let's get this out of here. Okay. We'll look at the keyboard in a second. Mark, thank you so much for the tier one. Thanks, guys. I appreciate this. Okay, let's take out all the stuff here. Thok supply. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we have some different plates. I believe there's a polycarbonate one. And an aluminum one. And you guys obviously know which one I'm gonna probably pick today. Just play with it a little. Ayo, ayo. I think we're gonna go with Alu today. I've always been an Alu fan. I'm gonna go with the Alu plate. You can see there's lots of, uh, I'm, gonna I'm not gonna really call these flex cuts. There's lots of relief cuts here, which is great. Um, the polycarbonate does not need that. So if you guys are new to, new to keyboards, maybe interested in this keyboard and wondering why the plates look so different, it's because it doesn't need this. It doesn't need the leaf springs. Polycarbonate's very flexy. So you guys can see it's very, very flexy. Well, Alu obviously does not do that. It can bend a little bit, but it's not gonna be like wavy, kind of like the polycarbonate. All right, so the keyboard does also come with a lot of phones. Now, I did hear a sound demo when I was researching the keyboard. I'm um, doing some like preliminary stuff. Um, the keyboard actually sounds good with no foams. So I don't know if we want to try foams today. Um, you guys know I'm always a sucker for mid plate foam, but I also kind of just want to build this with no foam. And then maybe we can actually slap the foams underneath if anything, but it's up to you guys as well. Here's our PCB, Thok Supply logo again. I like the, it's cute, I like the logo. We have some LEDs for that badge that we saw on the top. No foams, please, less foams, the better it is. Hot swap PCB, which is nice. So there we go, guys. Easy peasy PCB, nothing too crazy. Is the final color of the PCB, Thok Supply, gonna be, um, what's it called, green as well? I kind of like the old school green PCBs. Yeah, I don't mind them. I never, I never hate on green PCBs. And here is the keyboard, which I really like this. This is interesting. We have two weights here, uh, polycarbonate covering one. Got some fibers all over the place here from the bag. 
Look at this. Polycarbonate covering on the daughter board. I thought that was so neat to keep things in place. And we've seen this once before, but it looks it looks cool. Like I like the way that looks. That's neat. Love that yellow pop. Yeah, I think this is a great color. There's the bottom of the keyboard. Again, really, really nice design overall. And thank you, White Summer. I appreciate the tier one, dude. Thank you, thank you. The curves on the bottom, yes. That is another really nice thing. So when we look at a side view of this, I'm just really appreciating this keyboard too. It looks cool. Very, very nice curve here in the bottom, which is cool. Very, very beautiful. And there's that side profile of the keyboard here. This part here is gonna light up a little bit, which is kind of kind of neat, IMO. Oh man, I am vibing with this desk color. This is a desk pad color right now. This is so pretty. Looking like an Adonis today. You're too kind, dude. I kind of like the GB model for boards, but in stock, all switches and caps. I don't mind either or. I'm still pro in stock. I would rather pay a premium on having something in stock. Personally, I understand wait times. I'm here for wait times. Like, I get it. Hot sauce on popcorn? I've never had that. You know what I saw? Um, spicy drinks. And I was like, mm, I don't know about that. Also, can I say that your production quality is top tier? Thank you, Legacy. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, Ryan. I'm over here buying the lightest mouse possible with good specific mouse skates and a specific mouse pad, and I'm still not good. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm not the best with pro equipment either. I, or just equipment that's meant for, like, gamers who are, like, top tier levels. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm not good. Oh, this is a nice yellow. Dude, I would love the whole keyboard to be in this color. Like, come on. That is gorgeous. Thock Supply, can we get a top that's yellow too? Or was there a top that's yellow and then I just, did I just miss it? I am here for that. Also, this is removable, but I don't think there's any other colors for this little accent piece. Which is where the LED shines through. It's like a little face kind of looking thing. Raid V1s versus V2s. I would suggest just get the V2s. The V1s have a small issue with them being the um, the V2s, or the V1s had stems that could technically snap right off. Um, that I only discovered afterwards when it happened to me. But I, I heard some people in, in the intermittent say that it happened to them. This is a really pretty case color. I'm deeply in love with this yellow color right now deeply in love with it. I love the artisans on the macro. Isn't it cute? It's so pretty. I, I love the whole koi fish aesthetic there. Koi fish, I didn't even see the koi in it. Oh yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you guys a close up of that. It's such, it's such a beautiful macro pad. Here, you guys wanna see? Isn't that pretty? Dutch wants a compliment? Dutch. If you were foam, I'd line the whole keyboard with you, my guy. I love you that much. Hopefully you're having a good day today, Dutch. Love you, dude. All right, that was pretty easy to put in. Okay. All right, is this gonna be one of those keyboards where I should have put in the hot swap sockets? Uh, can I stick it in? For anyone designing keyboards like this, can I, can I just give just like one small, small suggestion. If you can figure out a way to not make the keyboard switches block the top mounts, I think that would be absolutely the nicest thing ever, dude. But yeah, I don't love doing this to my switches. It's not necessarily a bad thing, just would rather not. All right, hopefully this goes in. Show off those thighs. There's nothing to show off. Uh, what do I have for my lighting setup? It's called a Nanlite Compact. If you want to look up exactly what I have on my stream, exclamation point kit would probably be the best thing I can help you with. That would probably be the most accurate of what's going on in my setup. Okay, let's put in our keycaps. We are gonna be using 9009. Mm, okay. 
Oh. Dude, this looks, wait. Oh, there's the little light. I kind of like that. That's just like a little cute little LED. Dude, this looks so good with, yeah, it looks good with the Chroma desk pad here. It's like reflections, it's not the desk pad. It's just reflections off of my stand here. Okay. Take another quick look at this. This looks nice. I love the way this looks with the yellow. That looks so good, bro. Oh, there's a lot of there's a lot of interesting things here. Oh, you know, I actually didn't even see that you had sent me a reviewer guide. Let's see. Okay, so here I can give you guys a little bit more information. Eight degree typing angle. It's about it's going to be about 380 for price point, uh, roughly. 1.6 millimeter PCB, which I kind of figured as much. Um, solderable and hot swap, figured as much. So there we go. That's actually the, the price right there. I didn't actually see that, which is nice. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Current uh, current badge light are tied with the RGB underglow. Cannot be independently turned off and on. PCB designing and working and adding this feature. Okay, so cool. They are working on that. This is just answering all the questions I had anyways. Spot on price, to be honest. I think that's a great price. Please tell me you're putting Serica on this. I mean, maybe in the future. Right now, no. I love the back. It has like a really nice feel too. Like it's just the perfect size for your thumb. Any features to look out for when designing a keyboard? I think there's a lot of quality of life features that people kind of glance over that I think are important to, to look at. Ooh. All right, let's see what this sounds like. We're using Graphite Gold's aluminum um, plate. And uh, we're using PBT keycaps today. So let's see what this sounds like, guys. The space bar does slap. It has a pretty, yeah, the alphas are a slight bit quieter. I don't, I don't hate that, but I love the mods. Sorry, there's like tons of traffic outside. Love, love, love the mods. Bottom row is fantastic as well. I love when the bottom row sounds like this. Because I alt tab a lot, so I hear this a lot on my keyboard. I love that sound. That sounds really good. The mods are fantastic on this. Arrows are super good too. I don't hate the Elpas though. I think they... They go well with the space bar and mods. Huh, I like this, it sounds good. It's not quite like the same thing we're hearing over and over again, because I think the, the mods are definitely standing out to me. They sound good. Dude, I love this, this looks so good. All right, I'm happy with the XO. Um, if you want to put foam in it, go for it. I can only imagine it's just going to alter the already decently good sound profile. But it's nice to see a keyboard that is well put together. I think this, they did this really well. They obviously care a lot too. Like, I don't want to go over all of these notes because there's a lot of them. Uh, but they care a lot. They have a lot of like things that they're going to be working on for the final production unit. Very small things, very quality of life things. For example, the, the weight with the, um, what's it called, O-rings on it. Uh, it does look like they are gonna be working on 
um, some stuff that the prototype PCB has some issues with. So it's nice. It looks like they have a lot of things they're working on. So I think for the price point of 380, I think this is actually a pretty fun keyboard uh, if you wanted to pick up something new. So good on Thok Supply. Very, very cool keyboard. Take care, everyone. Goodbye. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Big kisses. Peace.